the Vosvraskemia Parrot Russian, Vosvraskemia Parrot translit. Return Vehicle, Grau Index 11F74, or VA spacecraft, was a Soviet crew capsule, intended to serve as a manned launch and re-entry vehicle. Initially designed for the LK-1 manned lunar flyby spacecraft for one of the Soviet manned lunar programs, then the LK-700 redesign, it was later repurposed for the Almaz military space station program. The VA capsule on display at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum was labeled as Merka, following a mistranslation of the original documentation. While incorrect, the name is being used in the West for the VA spacecraft and capsule. The VA spacecraft was capable of independent flight, up to 31 hours in its last incarnation. It needed, however, to be combined with additional hardware containing propulsion and storage to achieve a longer flight duration. Three different such usage scenarios for the VA spacecraft were planned, initially the LK-1 spacecraft, and after LK-1's cancellation the plans for Almaz APOS and the TKS spacecraft utilized the VA spacecraft. For the lunar flyby spacecraft LK-1, the plans by Vladimir Chelomai's design bureau OKB-52 were to mate an VA spacecraft together with an equipment rocket system block PAB and the translunar injection stage RB. .For the ALMAZ program, the plans envisaged two configurations for the crewed VA spacecraft. A VA spacecraft would have launched the initial crew of an Almaz Ops space station, the VA spacecraft launched together with the station itself, this combination was known as Almaz APOS. A VA spacecraft would have been launched mated together with a functional cargo block FGB to resupply an Almaz station, in both crewed and uncrewed flights, this combination was known as the TKS spacecraft, while the VA spacecraft has seen some successful uncrewed test flights, both with and without a functional cargo block, it never served in its intended role as a lunar or Almaz crew vehicle when the programs was cancelled, and neither was it ever launched together with an Almaz space station. VA was the first spacecraft to be launched into orbit twice, as Cosmos 929 was recovered and launched again as Cosmos 998. Gemini 2 was launched into space twice, but both launches were suborbital. <laughs> Design The VA spacecraft was initially designed as part of the LK-1 manned lunar flyby spacecraft and then the LK-700 spacecraft, but got later repurposed for the Almaz space station program. <laughs> LK-1 manned lunar flyby spacecraft First work on the VA spacecraft began on 13 May 1961 by Vladimir Chelomey's OKB-52 Design Bureau, in response to the U.S. Apollo program. The VA spacecraft consisted of three main parts. The VA capsule, which formed the pressurized habitable section for the crew. The no-front compartment Russian, Nosovoy Otsek no-lit, nose compartment housing the deorbit block BSO, additional batteries, communication equipment, the parachute and soft landing engines, the SAS launch escape system Russian, Systema Averenogo Spasinia SARS similar to Soyuz and Apollo, mounted on top of the nose section, jettisoned after first stage had burned out cosmonaut Alexei Leonov called the Almaz VA return capsule, our Apollo. The shape of the VA capsule was vaguely like that of the Apollo Command Module CM, however some of the VA's support hardware was housed on top of the capsule in the nose compartment, unlike Apollo with the Apollo Service Module SM below the Apollo CM. While the VA spacecraft was capable of independent flight of about one day, it needed to be mated to additional hardware for a longer flight duration. For a lunar mission, the LK-1 spacecraft would have been formed by mating the VA spacecraft with two components, the Equipment Rocket System Block PAB. It included, analogous to the Apollo's SM, solar panels and electrical power systems, communications systems like a parabolic antenna and thrusters for midcourse maneuvers. The Translunar Injection Stage RB.
Topic: <laughs> Almaz Space Station support craft. After the cancellation of the LK-1 manned lunar spacecraft effort, the VA spacecraft was repurposed by Chelemy as support craft for his military Almaz space station program, again a response to a U.S. program, the USAF's military manned orbiting laboratory MOL, and Gemini B effort. <laughs> Almaz APOS The initial plans called for crew and station to be launched together with one proton rocket launch, just like the U.S. MOL – Gemini combination. For this a VA spacecraft would have been mated on top of an Almaz Ops Space Station core this was known as Almaz APOS. The crew would have ridden into space in the VA capsule, once in orbit, the crew would have manned the Almaz station by entering it through a hatch in the heat shield, just like MOL – Gemini. The VA capsule would then remain unoccupied until the end of the mission, when it would serve as the re-entry vehicle for the crew. The Almaz APOS concept evolved into the Almaz Ops stations of the Salyut program, which were however never launched together with the crew, nor together with a VA capsule. <laughs> TKS spacecraft For the flights of the subsequent crews of an Almaz space station, the VA spacecraft would have been mated with a functional cargo block FGB, F77 instead. Together the VA and the FGB would form the manned TKS spacecraft F72 for crew and resupply flights to Almaz space stations. The VA would serve in its role as launch and re-entry vehicle for the crew, while the FGB would serve as a propulsion system, pressurized cargo carrier and contain the docking hardware. A few TKS spacecraft flew unmanned missions, but never to an Almaz Ops station. The FGB would however continue to find use and form the basis for several space station modules. The FGB concept is as of 2012 still in use for the Zarya FGB, albeit in modified form. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Test flights. Although the VA was never launched crewed, never together with an Almaz Ops station, and never to an Almaz Ops station, it saw several flights, some in the intended TKS spacecraft configuration. To accelerate the man rating of the TKS and VA spacecraft, eight unmanned VA spacecraft without FGBs were launched in pairs, testing two VA spacecraft per test flight. One of these flights was aborted due to the carrier rocket failure, and the VA capsule was successfully carried away from the exploding rocket by the launch escape system. Another four unmanned VA spacecraft were mated together with an FGB and launched as TKS spacecraft, the solo flight of Cosmos 929, the Cosmos 1267 flight to Salyut 6 and the flights of Cosmos 1443 and Cosmos 1686 to Salyut 7. The VA spacecraft on the TKS flight of Cosmos 1686 was modified as a no-re-entry laboratory segment. The TKS program would, after these test flights, evolve into the functional cargo block-based space station modules, and the VA capsules would no longer be of service in the Soviet Union. <laughs> VA spacecraft test flights Cosmos 881 and Cosmos 882 VA 009A1 009P and VA 009 009L orbital test of a pair of two VA spacecraft Cosmos 881 and Cosmos 882 in the 15th of December 1976 that started jointly and re-entered separately Topic: Cosmos 929. VA 009A, two test flight on the 17th of July 1977. 
The re-entry module was refurbished and launched again on 30 March 1978 as Cosmos 998. Topic: <laughs> Cosmos 937 and Cosmos 938. VA009AP number 009P and VA009P2 number 009L launched on the 5th of August 1977. Launch vehicle failure 40 seconds into the flight on a suborbital test of two VA spacecraft. VA number 009L is destroyed in the resulting booster explosion. VA number 009P is rescued by the Proton SAS abort system and is recovered safely. Topic: Cosmos 997 and Cosmos 998. VA009A, P2 and VA009P, 2009A, 2 on the 30th of March 1978, pair of two VA spacecraft, Cosmos 997 and Cosmos 998, that started jointly and re-entered separately. Topic: Cosmos 1096 and Cosmos 1097. VA number 103 and VA number 008. On the 20th of April 1979, the Proton carrier rocket suffered an on-pad abort and did not lift off. Capsule VA number 103 was lost. Topic. Cosmos 1100 and Cosmos 1101. VA 102A, number 102P, and VA 102, number 102L, on the 22nd of May 1979, pair of two VA spacecraft, Cosmos 1100 and Cosmos 1101, that started jointly and re-entered separately. Topic: TKS missions. Topic TKS one Cosmos nine hundred and twenty nine Cosmos nine hundred and twenty nine was the first flight of a complete TKS spacecraft VA zero nine A two spacecraft with FGB on July seventeenth nineteen seventy seven Topic TKS two Cosmos twelve sixty seven Cosmos 1267 flight of TKS spacecraft VA0103 three spacecraft with FGB to Salyut 6 on April 25, 1981. Topic <laughs> TKS3 Cosmos 1443 Cosmos 1443 was the first complete TKS craft VA0103, one spacecraft and FGB that docked to a Salyut station, Salyut 7 on March 2, 1983. TKS4 Cosmos 1686 Cosmos 1686 was on September 27, 1985 the last flight of an TKS spacecraft. Its target was the Salyut 7 space station. The VA capsule was modified to house remote sensing instruments. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Existing hardware. Some VA capsules are on display in museums or in storage. Known articles include VA009A2 part of Cosmos 929 and Cosmos 998 Excalibur Almaz VA009P2009 part of Cosmos 881 Cosmos 938 and Cosmos 997 NPO Machinostroynia Number 009 and 3 used for three airdrop tests Excalibur Almaz 
number 103 and 1 number 511,650,103 and 1 memorial museum of cosmonautics number 103 and 2 number 630,850,103 and 2 excalibur almaz VA 0103 1 number 103 and 4 part of Cosmos 1443 Smithsonian Museum number 0690020 International Space University Strasbourg number 75615302 Yevpatoria hash NPO Enigomash hash Kronischeff State Research and Production Space Center Hash. Vladimir Chelemy School, Kazakhstan. Topic: Specifications. Topic: VA spacecraft. The VA spacecraft included the VA capsule, see below, and the nose section. All data excluding TKSFGB or Almaz Ops. Mass at launch including SAS launch escape system, 7,200 to 7,300 kg 15,900 to 16,100 pounds Mass in orbit, 4,800 kg 10,600 pounds Gross mass, 3,800 kg 8,400 pounds Launch payload 1880 kg 4140 pounds Return payload 3 persons and 50 kg 110 pounds or 500 kg 1100 pounds uncrewed Height at launch including SAS 10.3 meters 34 feet Height in orbit 7.3 meters 24 feet Diameter 2 79 meters 9 feet 2 in independent operation up to 31 hours first flight december 15 1976 as va spacecraft twin solo flights cosmos 881 and cosmos 882 last flight september 27 1985 as tks spacecraft cosmos 1686 Topic. VA capsule All data for TKS version, unless otherwise stated. Crew size, 1 for LK-1, 3 for TKS Total internal volume, 8.37 cubic meters 296 cu feet Habitable volume, 4.56 cubic meters 161 cu feet Diameter, 2 79 meters 9 feet 2 in reusable for 10 flights topic tks spacecraft a tks spacecraft consisted of a va spacecraft mated to a functional cargo block fgb the specifications of the tks spacecraft were as follows Mass at launch, 21,620 kg 47,660 pounds Mass in orbit, 17,570 kg 38,740 pounds Payload total, 12,600 kg 27,800 pounds including consumables and VA spacecraft Payload, dry cargo, about 5,200 kg 11,500 pounds Payload, fuel, 3,822 kg 8,426 pounds Height, 17.51 meters 57.4 feet Span, 17.00 meters 55.77 feet Thrust 7.84 kN 1760 lbf Electric power 2.40 kW 3.22 horsepower on average Topic <laughs> Excalibur Almaz 
The company Excalibur Almaz acquired four VA return capsule hulls and two Almaz space station hulls. The company plans to outfit and launch both the VA capsules and the Almaz station hulls. One VA capsule is planned to be used in support of space tourism, while the other three VA capsules are reserved for scientific and commercial payloads. The needed development of propulsion systems for the VA capsule was reportedly delegated to an unnamed European organization as early as 2009. Topic. See also Almaz TKS spacecraft Topic. External links Encyclopedia Astronautica LK-1, with an image of an assembled translunar spacecraft Almaz APOS TKS RussianSpaceWeb.com Almaz TKS Sven Gran, the Almaz Space Station Program Smithsonian, National Air and Space Museum, Merca capsule, image detail, showing an VA capsule and its interior Novosti Kosmonovtiki, Drugoy Korabl online at archive.org, in Russian the other spacecraft, the 25th anniversary of the first TKS flight.